All right, welcome back to Everyday Race. Today, I've decided to do another video. In this video, I'm gonna be testing some water pumps. So, I've decided to replace my mechanical water pump, just like this one, with electrical water pump on my uh, turbo bike. So, I went to the local uh, high performance junkyardo and picked up a couple of electric pumps they both came from a high performance 2007 Toyota Prius so today I'm going to test how much fluid they can flow and if they can keep up with this mechanical one. So first let's measure the weight of the pumps to be very scientific if you know what I mean. So let's let's do it for science. So first let's start with the mechanical one. I got it set on grams and it's 430 and a half grams. So, first, let me show you what this pump looks like on the inside. It's got an impeller. It's pretty simple. It's a driven uh, by the oil pump, and the oil pump is driven by the engine. So, the good thing about it is that it's really reliable, but it puts extra drag on the engine. And since the engine revs, from 1,000 to 14,000 RPM, it gets pretty inefficient at high RPM, and that's where I'm using the bike. So, and it's a drag bike, so uh, I do a lot of sitting around and waiting for a track to open up. And I need to uh, keep my uh, engine cool. So what I can do with the electric pumps, it's actually gonna do two things for me. First, I'll be able to circulate coolant in the engine with the engine off and cool the engine when the engine uh, when the bike is stationary not running second I'm going to get rid of some pairs uh, pairs some losses some mechanical losses uh, that the engine the engine spent some power to spin this pump it's got quite a bit of drag and the higher the RPM the more drag it puts on the engine so, alright, so next, let's measure this tiny pump. Alright, so we got 345 grams, so it's lighter. This one's got a bracket which can be removed, but I think I'll end up using it if I'll end up using the pump. So it's quite a bit heavier. So, it's 469 grams, so it's... 30 grams heavier than the mechanical pump. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test how much water this pump uh, can move. And uh, for my calculations, it spins up to 4,000 RPM uh, at when the engine spins 14,000 RPM. I've got a drill, it doesn't quite spin to 4,000 RPM, but it spins at 2,000 RPM, which is about 6,000 RPM uh, for the engine, and I think that should be a sweet spot. So, for that, I got me uh, a bucket, it's a 5 gallon bucket, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how long it takes the pump to empty the whole thing. And then I'm going to test the other two pumps and see if they're any better or worse. So, so first I'm going to put this fancy hose on the inlet of the pump. And I'm going to fill the bucket with the high quality H2O. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm 
boom. Alright, let me put that hose on the pump. Alrighty then. There it is. Let me go get a drill. By then, uh, the high quality HCO should be full. And we'll get started. Alright, so I got the hose on the pump. And I got the drill hooked up on the pump. So it's going to work like the engine. So I'm going to submerge it. And we'll see how long it take for the pump to empty the whole bucket. So, let's get it started. Alright, let's go. That's a failed attempt. The hose doesn't quite get all the way in there, so I'm gonna have to put another hose on on the outlet. So that's a take one. Alright, this is gonna be second attempt. I had to get a, another hose, put it on the inlet, and put another hose on the outlet. That way the water doesn't go from the bucket to back to the bucket because it's kinda of gonna ruin the test. So Let's fill this baby up. And hopefully, this goes much better. Hopefully. Alright, attempt number two. It's all filled up. One, two, three. And... It's not working very good. There we go. Another attempt. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up until it goes uh, full blast and then I'm going to stop. So, let's get ready. And, let's go. done all right there's a little bit of water left but you know we can calculate the uh, error of 10% into the calcul <clears throat> into the calculations so next time to test the electric water pumps so. all right so I got the hose hooked up to the pump I have to hold it so it doesn't drain any water my charger, of course, turned off because uh, the battery is fully charged. So let's uh, let me turn it on and off. All right, so it's on. Switch it on amps and. Let's hook the water pump up. Let's see what happens. Today. Alright then. Gonna need to take two again. It's 
science doesn't always work out <laughs> as good as you think so gotta fill it back up since I only got two hands unfortunately I have to keep the pump above the water level and then I'm gonna lower it and we'll go from there science bro All right, I got the charger hooked up. I got the pump. Go ahead and start the test. The bucket is full. I've got the connector. Let's get ready and start. All right. Here we go. Seem to be using about 1.4 amps, 1.45. So about one and a half amps. 1.5, yep. So uh, that's a half a bucket gone. Seem to be doing okay. Still at one and a half amps. 1.52. Not bad at all. All right. We're getting close. Uh, I'm not timing it because I'm going to use the video. I'm going to uh, replay the video and I'm going to see. All right, there it goes, there it goes. And stop. So this is the pump. It's the smaller pump. Next, I'm going to test the uh, last pump. All right, so I'm filling up the bucket again for this Toyota pump. Looks like a part number 16290-21010. It's a 12 volt pump made in Japan, made by Denso. So uh, it's bigger, like the motor behind is bigger than the smaller pump. So hopefully this one uh, will do better than that one. Let's see. It's filling up. I got the charger connected. I had to use a different connector because that one's different for that pump. I don't know why you'd make two different connectors, but whatever. All right, come on. Hurry up. It finally quit raining, but now it's 95 degrees outside. I'm sweating like a pig. So, but nice and quiet. Get some high quality H2O. Alright. She's full. So, uh. Gotta plug the hole. There we go. All I have to do is attach the connector. So I'm gonna put the camera down. And we'll go from there. Uh, charger charging 14.2 volts there you go I'm gonna wait till it goes down to point zero five amps so the battery is fully charged so the test is equal as possible all right, point, point zero five amps. Let's plug her in and start the test. One, two. Oh, look at that! This pump is way stronger. What are you doing? Ooh, this one's pulling five point five and a half amps. So it's quite a bit more electrical energy but it's going down oh yeah this one's uh this one's doing way better 5.2 let's call it 5.2 amps and it's done that was that was quick this pump while consumed uh, a lot more energy uh seemed to empty the bucket a whole lot quicker
So now I'm going to go inside and I'm going to plug the camera in. I'm going to review the data and I'm going to tell you exactly uh, how much time it took for mechanical and these two electric pumps to empty this five gallon bucket. So we'll see. All right, so I reviewed the data and uh, the mechanical one, it took 26, around 26 seconds to empty five gallons of water, which is uh, 19 liters. So that came out to around 44 liters per minute. Next one would be the Toyota one the bigger one and this one it took 34 seconds so that equaled to 34 liters per minute and the smallest one it took 52 seconds so that equals to around 22 liters per minute uh, the way I came up with that is uh, for example since it took 26 seconds to empty uh, 19 liters of water, I took 60 seconds divided by 26 and multiplied it by 19 liters. So uh, this one's uh, pretty, pretty close to uh, being as good as that one. So uh, I think I'm going to try this on my bike. and. Uh, I think he'll work. So, uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.